how to reverse park an SUV or a four-wheel drive on the right-hand side. Align your rear bumper with the second line from the bay that you chose to reverse into. This would be the second line. It's easy to judge because you can see that line in the right-hand side mirror. As soon as you start to move, start to steer. If you are using a four-wheel drive or an SUV for your driving assessment, take a lot of driving lessons on coordination of your steering and your movement. By the time you get to a 45-degree angle, your steering wheel should be fully locked. Continue your movement with locked steering until your car becomes parallel with lines which you can easily see in your side mirrors. Start straightening out as soon as your vehicle becomes parallel and keep reversing until you reach intended depth. In Australia most driving assessments include reverse parking on the right hand side. Regardless of the size of your vehicle the examiner may ask you to reverse park on the right hand side. Let's recap. When you line up your rear bumper with the second line, start steering and moving at the same time. When you reach a 45 degree angle, your wheels should be locked. Keep driving until you become parallel with lines and then straighten out immediately. Keep reversing until you reach the intended depth. I know it's a bit unconventional method, but it works 100% of times. Try it if you're using a four wheel drive or an SUV for your driving assessment. Let us know if it works for you and if you have any suggestions. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.